Me shalom. Like to begin by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash, the brothers and the steady apostles who rule well. At Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the brothers that push this word in sincerity and in truth. Alright, you know, back here once again to do a video to the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right, and I'm going to title this video The Mercies of Yahweh. Why you have a shy, you know, because the Lord is a merciful being. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is merciful. Great to be exalted. Worthy to be exalted. You know? Because all these things we have done unto the Lord. The Lord say he will um see if I can get that is um First Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Um, 14 and 7. Now first is second. Second Chronicles then. 7, which is 7, 14. 7, 14. It says, If my people, which are called... Let me see. Um, I will start from 10. Second Chronicles 7 and 4 and 10. It says, And on the third day, and on the third and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents take off this into their tents glad and merry in heart for the goodness a matter of fact i will start from one it says second chronicles chapter seven and one it says now when solomon had made an end of prayer so you can get the understanding, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice, and the glory of Yahweh filled the house. And the priest could not enter into the house of Yahweh because the glory of Yahweh had filled the, the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of Yahweh upon the house, they bow themselves with their with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worship and praise Yahweh, saying, For he is good, for he is good, for his mercy endured forever. For his mercy endured forever. Right? And the Tajman or name is as I say, along the line of the Lord being merciful. Right? Um Enjoyed forever. Verse 4. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifice before Yahweh. And Solomon and King Solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty and two thousand oxen and an hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. And the priest waited on their office. The Levites also with, with instruments of music of Yahweh, which David the king had made to praise Yahweh, because his mercy enjoyed forever. The Lord mercy, Yahweh Bashem Yahshem mercy enjoyed forever. Regardless of what the nation of Israel do unto him, the Lord will punish us. Right? The Lord will punish us. I will come back to this. Um Rarich um I want to get a next scripture. Um let me see. Right, I read by six. I want to get a next scripture. That says in um um I think this is um
Say undo. Alright, um, we must check. Right, um, who's there? Chapter 1. And, um, and 1, it says, The word of Yahweh came unto Hosea, the son of, of Beri, in the day of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joaz, king of Israel, the beginning of the word of Yahweh by Hosea. Right, who's there? Um, just um, have a shy in the Hebrew, which means deliverer. It says, And Yahweh said unto Hosea, Go take unto thee a wife of whoredom and children of whoredoms, for the land of committed great whoredom departing from Yahweh. Right, so David the Lord telling Hosea, and this represents. This year represents the nation of Israel, right? This year we're speaking and we're reading here. This represents the nation of Israel because the nation of Israel went unto whoredom against Yahweh Hashem Yashai because the Lord said, Well, he's married unto us, right? The Lord Yahweh is our husband, man, right? The Lord says, Married unto us, right? And when somebody's married to someone, if that individual, if a woman, if a man marry a woman and a woman go on to her next man, she commits whoredom, she commits adultery, which is what? A sin unto death, unto that woman. Likewise, a man, if a man go on to a next man's wife, he will be put to death. Right? That is in the law of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Right? So we have committed whoredom against Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So we, that is why we die not like this. Right? Hey, the law supposed to death, but we have a permanently <laughs> right the lord the lord supposed to put me away permanently right but the mercy of yahweh bashim yashim we'll read it here it goes on to say um verse 3 says so he went and took goma the daughter of deb deblim which conceived and be and bear him a son and yahweh said unto him call his name Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehuaz, um, Jehu, and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel, and she conceive again and bear a daughter and god said unto him call her name luru um luru hamai hama for i will no more have mercy upon the house of israel but i will utterly take them away this is what the lord said he will have no mercy upon us but i will have mercy upon the house of judah right i will have mercy upon judah right and will save them by the by the lord their god and will not save them by bow by bow nor by sword nor by battle by horse nor by horsemen so the lord say you're gonna you're gonna cast away the southern tribe and the northern tribe you're gonna have mercy upon them right because it's judah benjamin and levi represents is um they am the southern tribe and if from on down um is, is the israelites right so the lord say he even and even and cast away as well because as well in pain paying attention to he would now when she had weaned luhamai she conceived and bear son then said god call his name um luhamai for yet are my people for ye are my people for ye are not my people and i will not be their god there i will not be your god Right? Yet yeah, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which which cannot be measured nor numbered. Right? So although the Lord see God and cast off the nation is he's still having mercy upon us. 
right? He's still allowing us to be here, to exist, to have seed, right? That is the mercy of the Lord. Like the small mercies of the Lord. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured, nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where I said it unto thee, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto ye, unto them ye are the sons of the living power. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel, right, ye bring them back together, be gathered together, and point and appoint themselves one head, right? And they shall come up out of the land from great, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Right? So the Lord said, you're going to bring us back. Right? He said, you're going to bring us back. Right? Although the nation of Israel went off, the Lord chose us as a people. So the Lord having mercy, that is being merciful. Right? The Lord having mercy up to this day. Right? Was um still like here. Um back in Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles seven and uh, I read six. Yeah. And the priests waited on off waited on their office and the Levites also with with instruments of music for Yahweh which they for Yahweh, which David <coughs> the king had made to praise Yahweh. Because his mercy enjoyed forever, when David praised by his min ministry, and the priest sung the trumpets before them, and all Israel stood. Moreover, Solomon hallowed the middle of the court that we before that that was before the house of Yahweh, for there be offered burnt offering and a fat of the peace offering because the the brazen altar which solomon had made also was not able to receive the burnt offering and the meat offerings and the fat also at the same time solomon kept the feast seven days and all israel were all israel with him a very great congregation from the entering in a Hamath unto the rivers of Egypt. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the de dedication of the altar seven days and the feast seven days. And the third and twenty twentieth day of the seventh month he sent the people away into their tents glad and merry in their hearts for the goodness that Yahweh had shown unto David and to Solomon and to Israel his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and King and the kingdom and the king's house and all that came unto Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. And in his own house, he, he um, prospered. He prosperously um, affected, effect, effected, effected. Right. Um, and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard. And the Lord appeared unto Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy pray and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilences among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall have shall humble themselves and, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and will heal their land. That is mercy. That is being merciful. 
that is only Lord we can have of, of, of us. If the if we turn from the wicked ways, you know, and do what is right in the eyesight of your Habashim Yashai, you said then he will have mercy. Um is that lem? Alright. This is um Sarah 18 and 11. It says, Therefore is God patient with them and poured forth his mercy upon them. He show and perceive their end. You know, he should sh perceive their end to be evil. Therefore, he multiplied his compassion. He multiplied his, their, his compassion. He saw and perceived their evil and multiplied his compassion. The mercy of man is towards his neighbor, but the mercy of Yahweh is upon all flesh. He prove it. He reprove it and nurture it and teach it and bringeth it again as a shepherd his flock. He had mercy on them that received discipline and that um, diligently seek after his judgment. Right? This is where the Lord is. This is how the Lord is. The Lord is merciful unto them that seek him. Right? And the only people that could seek Yahweh Hashem is the nation of Israel. You see? It's only the nation of Israel could have most could um seek um could seek Yahweh Hashem Right? Let's see. Um, but I see unto you say that. Um, let's be a second. Um, because the parents need communication. Right, um, Matthew 5 and forty forty five, and ye have, and ye may be the 5 and 44, it says, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. The Lord teaching us mercy, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. She understand? And that, that right there is mercy. That right there is mercy. The last scripture here, Psalm 78 and... Something is still true. Um. Thirty three, seventy eight and thirty three says, Therefore, their days did he consume in vanity and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and inquired early after power. 
after Yahweh, and they remembered that God was their rock, and their high, God their redeemer, and the high, God their redeemer, nevertheless they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their thong, with their tongues, with their tongues, so that for their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being filled of compassion, forgave them, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many of many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath, for he remembered that they were but flesh, or wind that passes away and cometh again, and cometh not again. You understand? So this is showing you the mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Hey, so the Lord merciful to forgive. Um, is a Isaiah, 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 fifty-five or fifty-six and one. Um. Fifty-nine. It says, "Behold, Yahweh hands is not shortened, that he cannot save; neither his ears heavy, that he cannot hear. But your iniquity have be, have separated between you and your power, and your sin have hid his face from you, that ye will not hear." All yeah, right. So the Lord hand is not shortened, that he can't save; or his ears heavy, that he cannot hear. The Lord hear. The Lord hears our prayer. And also, as the scripture says in Second Chronicles um, seven and and fourteen, if my people turn from their wicked ways, you know, of the prophets, and he will heal land, and that is mercy. You feel the enemy have mercy. He saw that no mercy. He saw it now merciful being. He saw it. for this video was a fine. Give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Makakodash. Double honors unto the apostles are great men. So rule well. Peace and blessing to you, brothers. I approach this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the elect.